This week, I'm encouraging you to live large, to live life in generosity, to be generous to others, and to do it in God's way, in an anonymous way. One of the greatest joys you can have in life is to do something for another and keep it a secret. It is just something that will infill and delight your soul. In Matthew 6, 1, it says, Be careful not to do your acts of righteousness before men to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from God in heaven. It is one thing to do generous acts to be seen in doing that and to receive the praise from the person, but it is a thousand times more powerful to do generous acts in secret. The hymn writer Fanny Crosby wrote this, To God be the glory, great things God hath done. But when we perform good deeds, it's tempting to claim the glory for ourselves. It's tempting, but it's wrong. One of the things, I was visiting Detroit this past week, and I was asked over and over again, can I have permission to use some of your material? I don't believe in copyright. I tell you, it's all from God. And anyone that ever wants to use my material can, because it's not mine, it's God's. God gives it to me, I give it to you. Anything else would be wrong. And they don't have to give credit. God's Word offers specific instruction about how we should conduct our good deeds in life. The glory must go to God, not to us. All praise belongs to the Creator who inspires us and enables us to do the good in the first place. We are simply conduits for God's generosity, and as such, we must remain humble. Otherwise, we'll forfeit the spiritual rewards that would be ours, and God wants us to enjoy. So the next time you perform an act of kindness or generosity, give credit where credit is due. Give it to God. I pray that you have a week of generosity in the most powerful form through you, anonymously, and allow it to feed your soul. You'll find the greatest reward that you can find in life. God bless.